Welcome back, this is Yamachak. We're doing Corridor Commando. Step one is, of course, to turn cheats on. And then O is to open this up. Yeah. Like, we're not going to use it to cheat. We're just going to use it so I don't have to walk back to the damn trader. <laughs> I just hate it. I hate walking back to the trader, dude. Stream yesterday went pretty good. The stream yesterday was was pretty decent. I uh, I have I have made the commitment now to uh, to make Friday streams another Monster Hunter stream. So that's going to be what we're doing going forward. So this Friday will be a Monster Hunter stream, and next Friday will be a Monster Hunter stream. Um, Mondays and Fridays will always be Monster Hunter streams. Look, I can't give it up. I like it a lot, and people are watching. The Monster Hunter streams are working. Okay. Um. The miscellaneous streams never really do very well. That's okay, you know. We can we can accept that. Um, but the Monster Hunter streams are doing well. The RuneScape streams are doing pretty well as well. So I'm gonna keep both of those. The Death Gambit streams are not doing super great, but we have gotten a few viewers in on them. So that's what we're gonna be keeping going for for now. And uh, I like it. People seem to like it. That's really what matters most. Halloween's coming up. Halloween's coming up. It is, uh, I think as of the time of uploading this, maybe October? I'm not sure what day this is going up at. I know what day it is today, it's September 29th, and I know what day it is tomorrow, September 30th. I just, I don't know if this video goes up on the 30th or the 1st. Can't remember. Anyway. Um. I think, I think this goes up on the 1st, though. I'm pretty sure. So it's October today. As of, uh, as of the time of you watching this, or, you know, it could be any other month. It really depends on when you're watching it. Um, you, know, you could be watching it next year, for all I know. Anyway, it's, uh, it's, uh, Halloween's coming up. You guys do, uh, you guys do the whole Halloween thing? You guys do that whole dressing up and putting on costumes and going to costume parties and stuff? You know, I never used to like it. But, uh, I think, not this year. But perhaps next year I'll be excited about it. Perhaps next year. Post weight loss. <laughs> I've never really uh, enjoyed Halloween so much before, though. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not much of a uh, party person. You know, I don't, I don't like the crowds and the excitement so much. I'm more of a, uh, a bit of a standoffish kind of person. I, uh, I like the quiet and the, uh, the peaceful. And Halloween kind of disrupts that for me, so I don't I don't appreciate it so much for me personally. Anyway, I know a lot of people really enjoy it. Though. I like you know a lot of people like getting into costumes and you know getting together and having a party and getting wasted and stuff. That sounds like uh, it sounds like it could be fun, I suppose. Um. You guys do the pumpkin things? You guys do the pumpkin things to make the, the jack-o'-lanterns? I used to love making those, and then and then I just kind of got sick of the smell. <laughs> I'm always just, I'm that person that's like, bah humbug, you know? Not really. Yeah, at the end of the day, when, uh, when it's in person and it's like, actually kind of matters to, to not annoy people, like, oh, I'll suck it up and I'll 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 typically just enjoy it just so that other people can enjoy it. You know, if I'm gonna be there to be a part of it, you know, I'll typically exclude myself rather than sit there and complain about it. Um, you know, just so I don't annoy other people because there's no reason to do that. Um, but uh, like. I, I don't uh, but when, when I'm on the KF2 series, I'm talking here, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it, you know, I'll, I'll talk about my disdain for the, uh, the celebratory stuff. I used to get really into it, though, back when I was a kid. I mean, I think, I think most kids typically tend to be pretty excited about Halloween. You get to dress up and go get a whole bunch of free candy, <laughs> you know? I mean, what, what's not to love about that, right? As a, as a child, I mean, uh, these days, if I want candy, I just go buy candy not a big deal. I typically don't buy candy because I don't really want candy. Um, also, if I were to go pure cream now, I think people would give me a give me a stink eye. 
So I don't, I don't think I have the option anymore, you know? I think I'm past the age. Do you guys have neighbors that, uh, that have those really loud Halloween decorations? Like whenever somebody approaches their door, the, the thing will just scream at the, at the people. I'm sure for them it's a lot of fun. And I'm sure for the people going up to their door it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but for me who's trying to sleep, it's always really annoying. And it's, uh, it's, you know, again, it's like I can't really complain about it too much because, you know, it's everybody else having fun. I'm the one who's not. And, uh, you know, it's fine. I'll, uh, I'll allow it. I'll permit it. I'll, uh, I'll graciously allow people to, to have their fun. But, uh, it is always, it is always annoying when... Dude, what are you doing? When, uh... When I'm trying to sleep or have a nap or something like that, and uh, people are walking up, trick or treat, and I can hear it from my my, my room as well, and uh, then the, the 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 dang like screechers going off, and I'm just I'm just like lying there like I really I really hate that that uh, I don't I don't get to just like go tell them to shut up, because <laughs> I, I know that that's the wrong thing to do, I know that's the wrong thing to do, and I would be the jerk, you know. If I to post it to, am I the am I the jerk? I would be the jerk, <laughs> and I'm not I'm not gonna go do that because I'm a, I'm a half decent person at least you know. Um, you're gonna get dusted though, okay? I believe. I believe, okay? Just get down to yellow health. Thank you. And then actually just go all the way to zero, if you may. You know, I'm uh, not I'm not a big fan of the the Halloween stuff just because it's uh, it's annoying to me. I like my peace and my quiet. And Halloween is is anything but. I live in an area with a lot of kids, so there's lots of kids going out trick or treating and stuff. I still live in my parents' house, so the parents always wanna. Give out candy and chocolate and stuff to the kids. We got the doorbell ringing, and yeah, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to enjoy my life, and people want to come in and ruin it. And I don't even get. I don't even get the right to complain because I'm the odd one out. <laughs> I recognize that. Anyway, Halloween's coming up. You guys all excited about that? I hope you are. I'm not, but you know, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't matter. I don't matter. I'm excited about next year's. I just, uh, I mean, this year, I don't even know how Halloween's going to go in the first place, because, like, the whole COVID thing, like, are people even going to be trick-or-treating? I doubt it. Um, which is, is kind of unfortunate, because, you know, as much as, uh, as much disdain as I have for the, uh, the entire process, it's, uh, it's something that other people enjoy, and for them to have to miss out on it because of, uh, COVID is, is certainly not a, a positive thing. Much as it may benefit me, it's, it's definitely not a good thing to, to be happening. You know, the right thing is for me to be mildly inconvenienced as, as the rest of the world goes out and has fun. So it's a valuable trade-off. But, um... It's, uh... You are so annoying. They sound like flesh pounds to me. Like, every Zed sounds like a flesh pound. And it's freaking me out, dude! I'm liking this uh, this minigun though, in case you couldn't notice. Popped straight into another sort of like uh, just lane defense thing. <laughs> Minigun's fun, dude. I yeah, hope you guys are excited. What what's your plans for Halloween anyway? If you're if you're a Halloween doer, how are you how are you handling this year's Halloween? What are you doing about it? Cause I'm not sure how much trick or treating is going to be going on. Cause I mean, do you really want to eat the candy that somebody else has been manhandling? I mean, I don't. I barely want to eat the the food I buy from the store. You know? It's gonna be a, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a trick or treating, but uh, everything's gonna be like hand sanitizer and <laughs> no like hand wipes and. Oh, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a weird Halloween. I'm gonna say that much. You know, it's a, I don't think at my area many people are gonna be doing too much uh, trick or treating because I think people out here typically tend to be fairly respectful about uh, the whole COVID thing. 
and uh, tend to, to, to follow the social distancing rules and all that. I think that in other places, uh, people do that a lot less, like most of America. Um, and I, I think there's going to be, I think there's going to be a lot of, uh, of news surrounding Halloween as people get sick and trick-or-treaters everywhere dying. <laughs> and it's, you know, who, who would have who saw that coming? What a surprise. You know, it's going to be super unfortunate because people are going to do it. You know, people are going to do it and they're going to get sick. Because, uh, I don't know, I, I just, 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 uh, reading about it, a lot of people don't respect it as much as they need to and... I think that a lot of people are going to get sick because of, uh, of Halloween. I don't know how it's going to be handled. I don't know if there's going to be any... Uh, I mean, I'm sure that some areas are going to have laws against it. They might even have it now. I do not know. I have not been paying attention. I just I can't keep up with the news anymore, you know? I used to. I used to. And then, uh, I mean, it just it, it kind of got to the point where now I just I look at the news and I'm like... Okay. <laughs> And I've, I've just, I've, just, I've kind of just accepted that, like, whatever's gonna happen is is happening, and I don't need to, I don't need to be in the know. I don't need to, I don't need to know what's going on in the world. It's too much for me to handle. It's like I was looking at the news every day, and it was like, oh yeah, another like 40 people have died, and another 300 people are sick. You know, another area is in quarantine, and I'm just like, okay, look, I'm gonna be safe. I'm probably going to hear from other people if there's a cure or something, or if there's anything super big or important that I need to be concerned about. And, uh... Like, we'll just kind of... Well, not cure, but like vaccine. I always call it a cure, but it's a vaccine. It's not a cure. I've said it before. We can cure COVID. We can't prevent you from getting it in the first place. Once you get it, we can, we can, you know, people, doctors can typically can't keep you alive if you're, if you're caught, you know, reasonably early, anyway. You know, it's just the, the whole making sure you don't get it is really just kind of, well, try not to talk to people that got it. <laughs> Wear your mask, wash your hands. It's kind of true for, for most illnesses, but, I mean, you know, whatever, man. Well, sure, we'll upgrade the AR-15. I mean, why not? It's come in handy a couple of times. As you've been doing this. Batcat. No, 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 Batcat! So that is probably a quarter pound or a flesh pound or something? I don't know, dude. Like, everything sounds like flesh pounds to me. I don't know what is or isn't a flash pound. Scrake, I guess. That's what that was. Why am I reloading here? Can can somebody answer me why I'm reloading here? Just, just tell me why. Tell me why. As like the uh, Backstreet Boys. I'll, t I'll tell y'all. I'm sh I'm I, uh, I I'm not ashamed of it. I like the Backstreet Boys. Some of their songs. Tell me why, is this definitely one of them? You know, when I'm driving around or anything like that, I mean, I don't drive very often now anyway, because where the heck are you going to go, dude? Um, when I'm driving around or something like that, and tell me why it comes on the radio, like, I'm jamming, dude. Tell me why. I don't know the lyrics anymore, though. Because I don't drive anymore. It doesn't come on the radio because I'm not driving. How does it go? I'm trying to think of how it goes. I just, I can't remember it. So real fight ahead, dude. Back in the game. I'm not sure I can handle the responsibility that comes from a real fight. Who do we got? Hans? You have been killing my no, uh, not Hans, but um, Dracula. You, will die now. Have I scared you? Don't you haven't scared me, Dracula. You haven't scared me not one bit. Dude, you're sick. Dude, that's that's actually pretty cool. He's really, really hard to kill with this weapon though. I'll uh, I'll I'll give it to you straight. He's he's not very easy to kill with this, okay? Once once I think once we got him, then we got him though. Yeah, I think I think that I now that I think that now we got him, I think we got him. 
Because you just you just gotta focus on getting him down and then make sure that you, you kind of down him immediately afterwards, right? So you can DPS him while he's while he's on the ground there, and then uh, go for maximum DPS. Where where are you, bud? We have no ammunition. Okay, we'll just we'll just use the uh, the AR-15, I guess. Toss toss some grenades in there, dude. Oh jeez. I'm just gonna chill out over here. And you guys are gonna, you know, lamps to the slaughter. My twin fangs. My twin fangs. Ready to die. Toss a grenade in there. Dude, the grenades do a lot of damage, actually. Okay, so by some stroke of luck, we managed to to defeat him because he just breaks when he goes in the room, I guess. <laughs> Farm just kind of chill out over here and pick up a whole bunch of grenades and then just bunk, 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 bunk. I think if we went in there, we'd be able to lure him out, but... I mean, hey, dude. We did it. We did it! Anyway. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.